what's up youtube i'm gonna put out a different type of video um you know my channel is about what i collect but also uh, i've been working on this 1986 f-250 bullnose ford it's a three-quarter ton truck and as you saw in the description it uh it's mainly about the wheel entire package that i decided i've been looking at uh, other videos and there's no not a whole lot of content on these trucks whatsoever uh, I have a, I fixed all the leaks so far, but I still have one more leak, and it's the base that holds the oil filter. It's leaking. Um, it's not uncommon on these trucks, especially this one was sitting for seven years, and I got it running again. A little backstory: my father purchased this truck in 19 in the fall of 1985 it's a 1986 model two years later he sold it to my uncle which then gifted the truck back to me um just came back from o'reilly's and i picked up this little kit here for the it's a repair kit for the uh for the oil filter base it's a es Felpro part number ES73036. I have no affiliation with O'Reilly's, but that's where I like to go. And um, so yeah, let's get back to the, the wheels and tire package. I've purchased these tires at Sam's Club. Uh, the size is an LT245 75R16s. Originally, these trucks would probably come with your 16 by seven steelies with the little center dog dish center cap or a um, or wheel caps which I don't care for they just look awful when my father purchased this truck he uh, it originally came with this style of wheels so I wanted to put the wheels back on how it came from the dealer um, the wheels are chrome and they're made by a company called US wheel I will put the part number that I I purchased them from Summit Racing and these are 16 by 8s. I went one inch a little wider, doesn't hurt. As you can see, they they do not come out hardly anything at all. So that was kind of the look that I wanted. I didn't want the wheels to be sticking out. Uh, they do a little bit, but ever so slightly, not too bad. And I will be leaving uh, part numbers in the description of this video. Uh, the bolt pattern you have to measure from this bolt to this the center of this hole or this stud to the center of this stud and the bolt pattern is an eight lug by six and a half if you that'll take a lot of the guesswork out when I bought I also got these at summit these are about two and a half inches um, my first mistake was assuming they were half inch but it's the next size up which is five sixteenths and the front ones cleared very nicely and these are also made by us wheel these are the deep the deep cups for these wheels and uh, i will leave all the part numbers uh on the description again the wheels or the tires i purchased uh, these tires uh, i gave you guys the sizes i purchased those at sam's club and these are just goodyear wranglers uh, the duratrax and they're great, they ride nice, they're not noisy. Uh, in the rear, I did have to uh, uh, use a couple of spacers to clear the, the studs in the rear. And that was because these have to be a little bit longer, maybe about half an inch on the rear. But um, I couldn't find uh, anything longer than two and a half inch. I believe they were two and a half inch, but I will leave the uh, part numbers for those uh, lug kits. I had to buy four of them. There's eight in a pack. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of you guys are working on the F-150 short beds, which are really nice. And they're, you can drop them and do all kinds of good, great stuff. But if you have one of these three quarter ton F-250s um, and you're wondering what type of wheels you want to go with, um, I just thought I'd put this video out so that give you guys an idea. There's not a whole lot of content on these bullnose Fords and they are becoming increasingly popular. My bullnose Ford has a 7.5 liter, 460 cubic inch with a Holley 4180C four barrel electric choke carburetor. 
it's automatic it's not a four by four it's a four by two and just give you guys a i'll have to roll the window down but uh we'll show that in another video but yeah i hope you enjoy this uh, video and uh maybe i'll give you guys some ideas of of um of how to fix up your ford uh, this is not going to be a trailer queen it's a good driver uh, it's already passed smog and it passed legally and i'll get more into depth on how i did it so anyways i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope the uh all you bull nose collectors or bull nose fords uh projects that you guys got going on i hope this gives you an idea if you got a f-250 like mine that it's um you can still make these trucks look pretty sharp if uh you you select the right wheel package all right peace out and uh till next time bye